Shalom. In my last video, I talked about the scandal in Illinois about the uh, alleged uh, effort by the current governor to replace Senator Obama, who's now President-elect Obama, by selling the Senate seat. Uh, and I talked about the Torah's prohibitions against bribery and to do justice and the constraints we put around the king to have the Torah. But I want to take it from a different angle today. You know, in Illinois, they've been calling this pay-to-play, the, the historic idea that you have to give bribes in order to participate in the process. That's why Governor Ryan's in jail, supposedly. And this is another example. And I would like to change the phrase from pay-to-play to pray-to-play, to pray, that the key here is about prayer. And I want to use the Torah portion of the week this week, the story of Vayishlach and of Jacob's continuing journey and growth as a person. Last week, Jacob had a dream as a young, immature adolescent running away from his father and brother whom he had just cheated, and he basically makes a conditional prayer. Rabbi Harold Kushner, in a wonderful essay on this, spoke about how the Torah portion today is set 20 years later, and Jacob is making the second prayer in the same place but 20 years later. And he's now been through a great deal. He's wiser, married, fathered children, made and lost, and remade fortunes. He's apprehensive about the future. He's going to meet his brother Esau, who he parted from 20 years before in a very uh, dangerous way. His brother was very angry with him. And his prayer now, he says, I am unworthy of all the unkindness that you have so steadfastly shown your servant. With my staff alone, I crossed this Jordan. Now I have two camps. I pray... Deliver me. I fear that Asa may come and strike me. And you have said, I will deal bountifully with you and make your offerings as the sands of the sea. Now, in this story portion, we have a wrestling match where Jacob wrestles with some mysterious being. Some people say it's himself and wrestling with his conscience. Some say it's with Asa, as an angel. And he gets his hip gets wrenched by the end of the, the story in that wrestling match. And it says that I struggled with God and, and prevailed. So I struggle with God. So what is going on here, and how can this help us? Well, Rabbi Kushner says, this new prayer is not a deal. It's not involving kickbacks. Jacob is saying, in effect, God, I have no claims on you. Now, Rabbi Kushner, of course, is writing this way before this Illinois pay-for-play business. No claims on you. I have no right to ask anything of you. You've already given me more than I have ever hoped for. All I, I have nothing to offer you. I can only say, God, help me because I need you. This is what Rabbi Kushner is writing. I'm not sure I can do it by myself. You once gave me reason to believe I would grow up to be someone special to do your purposes in the world. I want to be that person, um, so help me. He said, this is Jewish prayer. It doesn't ask God to change the world. It asks God to change the person praying. And so, I look at how interesting this is. It seems clear that God is being represented here. After contending with this angel, Jacob is called Israel, one who strives with God. Um, and so, Rabbi Kushner goes on to say, what can we learn about our own prayer life from Jacob's story? That prayer begins in gratitude. It involves thanking more than begging. And most importantly, that we can do things with God's encouragement that we can find ourselves incapable of doing on our own. And so, look, uh, maybe it's true that the governor of Illinois was going to sell, try and sell a Senate seat. Maybe it's true that we're going to find out a lot of people who were willing to offer a lot of money for that Senate seat. This is pay-to-play politics in Illinois, maybe elsewhere too, I'm sure it is. Nothing new under the sun, as Kohelet said. But I think this idea that Jacob matured so much in his life, that 20 years later, now a mature man, he doesn't pray anymore conditionally, if God does this and this and this, I'll be a good servant. But now he asks God, from gratitude, a point of gratitude, to help him become the best person he can be. It's pray-to-play, not pay-to-play.